in the lights built into the microscope. You don't have to uh, have a true light, although you can if you like. And I'm going to start off using a very large mirror. I always, uh, when I teach the course, I like to use large mirror. and it gives the uh, operator a chance to see the entire arch. So now you're going to be viewing the, the split screen. And so now we're just going to make a slight adjustment here for fine focus. And I'm also going to just dry that off so you can actually see this. Now you can see what I'm saying. Dry off the upper right side. This would be my earliest approach when I was doing examinations. I'm just starting out. So I just went from 3.15 to 5 power. So right now, 5. And I would say we need to do a couple of class five fillings here. All right. Mm -hmm. I think she agrees too. Mm -hmm. All right, back to 3.15, up to five, and now we're up to eight power. And look at the definition that I'm seeing right now at eight power. Now this is well beyond loops. Basically what I'm trying to do is make sure I stay in focus for you guys out there. I'm taking a look at the 13 inch color monitor that's attached to the dental chair. So we're giving you guys not only live feed off the video camera inside the microscope, but it's also being fed to two other places. One goes to my computer and the other goes to this chair mounted video stream. So that we have the ability to record any of the data from the patient's mouth right into the computer, into the database, right along with the x-rays. In fact, we also mount the microscope photographs in their own uh, display mounts, similar to a full series of x-rays. So it's a very, very good complement to have them. Actually takes the place of an intraoral camera. So in my office I have five microscopes and we have three microscopes in our in-house laboratory and they're going to be purchasing their fourth soon. Each one of the microscopes has an onboard video camera gives us the ability to record data throughout the entire day. Right. And guys, I just want to discuss a little bit about doing an oral cancer screen as well using a microscope. It's a great way to check the throat. And Phyllis, on this one, what I'd like you to do is try to raise your chin up as if you're looking behind your head. Perfect. Now I want you to open as wide as you can. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to take a look at your throat. All right, let's go ahead. Tell us now. Perfect. One more time down in there. That's enough to say ah for us. Perfect. Okay. And ah again. All right, again, you can take photographs, whatever you have to do to record the data. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you very much, and uh, thanks for coming to the meeting.